Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are working with my daughter who made a huge mistake after she took out her braids. She decided that she was going to just go and wash her hair and did not detangle her hair before she did so. And now she has dreadlocks. This was not discovered until I made her take out her ponytail. And I noticed that the entire middle and almost every other part of her head was definitely tangled. So today we are going to talk about a easy way to detangle your hair if a situation like this ever happens. So we started out by just kind of lightly um, dampening her hair using our Hydra Strength Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Now this spray is also a great detangler. I did not wet her hair again. I just literally just sprayed on some of the um, Hydra Strength and then I'm um, going section by section and detangling her. So I'm doing two different types of detangle. Let me go ahead and give you guys a disclaimer. Her head does move. She does have a neck. Because I am actually using some tension in regards to my hand, her head is going to move. That is a part of the detangling process. Also disclaimer, when you're detangling your hair, mm-hmm, Sometimes just being extremely gentle and trying to preserve every inch of hair that you have on your head, that will take you about five days to detangle. In a situation like this, you want to be swift, but also gentle at the same time and also get through the detangling process as painless as possible. In disclaimer. Okay, so I started out by going through and just pulling apart some of the dreadlocks that had began to form. Now, she actually, I thought that she just literally took the braids out and didn't comb her hair out um, and just let it dread up like that. But to only find out that she actually took the braids out and then went and washed her hair, not knowing that she had to detangle first. That is how we got to this point. Okay. So her entire head is tangled. Now, I started out by using a comb, which is a cutting comb, but I noticed that the cutting comb was kind of being a little too rough for my liking, um, and it was just glazing over the tangles. So I switched to the detangling brush that is a part of our four-piece detangling kit. Now, this is the square puzzle brush. This brush, if used correctly, it made my life so much easier when it came on to the detangling process. And I still utilize the starting at the ends and working my way up. Now, before I even started brushing, I did make sure that I pulled apart a lot of the dreads. Anything that was getting caught in the brush, I went ahead and sprayed a little bit more of the Hydra Strength um, Leave-In Conditioning Spray on her hair. Now, this is definitely something you're going to wash out in this instant because we are using it as a tool to detangle the hair because it is an amazing detangler. And also, um, we are just utilizing a method to soften a lot of the locking that has already started. Okay, so washing her hair or slathering the head with a bunch of conditioner, I mean, it can somewhat help, but that can also make the problem even worse. Okay, so you don't really want to go and wet the hair again. You want to go ahead and start pulling the hair apart, which is what you guys see me doing. I'm literally just grabbing the area where the knotting or the matting has started and just pulling that area apart as gentle as possible. Um, I did speed up the video, so it's going to appear that I'm just tearing her hair apart, but I'm really not, you guys. Um, be prepared. Uh, another thing that I definitely want to say, be prepared to see a good amount of hair shedding. Um, that This is normal. If you got your hair to this point, best believe you're going to lose some strands trying to get it out of this point, you guys. So honestly, this is not the time where you want to sit and be in tears and panic. You really just want to take this bull by the horns and just work your way through it. It took me about 30 minutes in total to detangle her entire head. And when I say every inch of her head had a dread, I promise you, every inch, even the nape of her neck rolled up into a nice little buckshot, okay? So this was not um, a simple task, but how you handle it is definitely going to determine um, your success at the end. 
So I did speed the video up um, on the other side because I wanted you guys to see um, just the detangling process. But some other pro tips. As I'm detangling her, I did not allow her hair to just hang free the whole time. Um, I did separate or partition her hair in different places as I was going through the process because I just wanted to make sure that I could see my way through. That's another thing that I definitely recommend when you are uh, at this phase of panic mode. Oh my gosh. Um, definitely just take your time. Now that's all the hair that came out. It seems like a lot, but to be honest, when you're coming from a person who had a head full of dreads, that is bare minimum of hair that came out, bare minimum. All right, so now we're on to her favorite part of the process, which is the shampoo process. As you guys can tell, she's nice and relaxed. <laughs> So I started out, I did not clarify her in this particular case, so we did not use the Elite Clarify. I went straight in with the Moist Repair Sulfate-Free Shampoo, gave her a really good scrub, um, but I did not manipulate the hair too much. And the reason why I say that is because if you're coming from a place where the hair was dreaded, you go and you start you know, doing too much at just too quick, you're creating a method for it to just do exactly the same thing again. Now, the good thing about the Moist Repair is that it softens the hair well enough that I was able to take my puzzle brush, which is the puzzle brush from the four-piece detangling kit, and utilize that brush at her ends only, just to slightly detangle her ends to make the tangle or detangling process even simpler, okay? So after we did the shampoo, um, I went in with the Moist Repair Deep Conditioner, and then I also cocktailed that with our Hair Repair and Restore Conditioner. So whenever you do a cocktail, you want to make sure that you pre-mix your conditioners together, and then I put it all over her hair. Now, I did use about double of what I would normally use, okay? Reason being is because I know she's coming from a place where she was just in a dreadlock mode and I wanted to make sure that I had enough slip on her hair and I also put enough condition because she is going to get a deep conditioning treatment and I wanted to make sure I was able to just go and comb through her hair. At this phase, you guys, she only had a couple of strands that came out in the comb. It was very barely any hair. So all her shedding was, was over at this point. So she's watching a movie at the same time, you guys. So if you guys notice, she's trying to look over her head because the TV is above her head. But in respect to um, the tangling process, her hair was really, really soft. Um, once we got all of the gnats out or matted areas out, it was just really simple in regards to, you know, just combing through her hair and then just doing the deep conditioning process. Now, I definitely recommend um, if you're going to do a deep conditioner and you have really dense hair, to go ahead and rope twist that hair before you put it in the processing cap so that at that point, you know, you can go ahead and make your life a lot simpler. Now, once the conditioning was over, if you guys saw her face, yeah, that's cold water that we used to rinse out the conditioner. You guys know I'm always recommending cold water at this phase. And then we towel dried her hair and applied the Moist Repair Leave-In Conditioner, which is very important. Um, that is going to be the finish line for the wash day, okay? So we did the Moist Repair, and then even after this, because I knew that her hair was coming from a place where we just had to do a lot of work to it, I still went ahead and rope twisted her hair into three sections. Um, my daughter does have a texturizer as well, so even though she has that texturizer, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to treat her hair as if she was not 100% natural. So I did rope twist her into three sections and put her under the dryer for her to go and air dry. Um, and this is also going to help with the elongation, after which she was in a very happy place because her hair was no longer matted and it was nice and clean. <laughs> 